Pinotage, the interesting grape that we have here in South Africa. It's doing some phenomenal things in different climates and with good reason. It's a grape that we created here in South Africa by crossing Pinot Noir and Cinso, and it's producing some very interesting and diverse styles of red wine. So the one that I'm tasting today is the Hurt Constantia Pinotage 2011. And I'm fortunate to have something that's got a little bit of age to it. Constantia is typically a cooler climate and not where you would expect Pinotage to grow. Hmm. Very quintessential Pinotage that. You can taste the typical dark fruit coming through from the grape. Then it's got a beautiful smoky yet um, sweet spice to it, some great uh, savory characters to it, and even like a slightly leathery um, note to it as well. And that's definitely from the bottle maturation. Um, it's a cooler climate pinotage and you can taste it. It's not such a big robust style, it's more um, medium in body. And I think this is at its optimal drinking time now. It's really drinking really well. Those tannins have softened, integrated, and I love it when the wine reached that point where, you, where it becomes difficult to distinguish the alcohol from the tannin, from the sweetness, from the acidity. Everything has woven together to give you this beautiful tapestry of what the wine is supposed to be like. I would pair this with South African dishes, um, maybe a lamb rib that's been herbed and crusted, done on an open flame, some uh, Maybe a fragrant biryani would go really well with this. And like I said, the aging has just mellowed it out. So even have it with a few hard cheeses, I wouldn't recommend something too pungent, but a Gruyere, for instance, would be a fantastic pairing with this. Um, if you don't know Pinotage, I would encourage you to go out, see if you can find a bottle. Um, most speciality stores do carry uh, South African Pinotage. And even if it isn't South African Pinotage, you'd probably find something that was produced in Australia, California, Canada, or maybe even Israel. There are small pockets of these vineyards where they're doing very interesting wines as well. On that note, um, let me know what you think of Pinotage. Let me know how your wine expedition is going through this time. And I'll see you tomorrow.